Number four, S equals 40 plus three T. The equation gives the speed S in miles per hour of a certain car T seconds after it began to accelerate. What is the speed in miles per hour of the car five seconds after it began to accelerate? So they really are just testing here your understanding of the word problem and knowing what numbers to plug in where. We are told that S is the speed in miles per hour and that T is the number of seconds. And then they say, what is the speed in miles per hour? A little side note here. This is somewhere they sometimes get you. They might change, like this was miles per hour and then they change it to miles per minute or something. But they're being nice on this one. It's miles per hour both times. Just something to keep in mind on SAT problems in general. They do like to do that. So the speed, the rate of speed doesn't change. So they're wanting to know what is the speed five seconds after it began. Again, they're not changing this from seconds to minutes, minutes to hours. They're keeping it seconds. They're being nice. So five seconds. I'm going to replace that T with five, which is what they told me. And then I just do my math here. 40 plus three times five is 15. 40 plus 15 is 55. That is my speed, 55 miles per hour. And that is D. I hope you enjoyed that today. If it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.